How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you the Kobo Mini games, uh, how to get to them, the couple that do come stock with it, and I'll give you a little preview of each one, okay? First thing we're going to do is come to the upper right corner and tap on the menu button, which is all the way to the corner, the three little bars, and then come to where it says settings, and then come all the way down to the bottom where it says extras. Tap on extras. And then we're going to see a little list here. We have three games that come stock on the Kobo Mini. Chess, uh, Sketchpad, and Sudoku. Let's start with Chess. Go ahead and tap Start here. And you can choose your level uh, from Grandmaster all the way to Beginner. Let's just go do Beginner for now. And Play as White. Remember, if you play as White, you start the game. If you play as Black, then you go second. Go ahead and tap Let's Play. This is actually pretty nice. And let's see. You tap the piece you want to move and tap the square in front of you. Um, pretty basic. I, I really like using it with the stylus. Um, this would be a little tough with fingers. As long as your fingers aren't too big, this shouldn't be too bad. Um, let's see. Let's do that there. And. I take him, but then this queen would take me here. So, and you have an option to do a, an undo your move. You can get a hint, and you can look at a list of all the moves that were done in the game. So, pretty nice little um, chess game, and uh, definitely good to pass some time uh, if you just you know you may want to take a little break from reading. And if we want to get out of this, we're going to go to the, to the bottom and right corner and tap now our menu buzz at the bottom. Tap on menu. We can resign and we can save and quit. I'm going to tap save and quit. And it takes us back to our main screen, okay? Now let's go and check out the other two games. Settings, extras. Now we have our sketch pad. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And you have a little pad where you can do a little drawing. And if I just use my finger. That's so nice and cool. Uh, definitely something if you want to like pass it to a little one or a kid, you can let them have a little fun. You can even make a little mock tic-tac-toe game and kind of play like that. It works really good with the stylus though. It's pretty responsive to it. I'm over here cheating, going twice and all that. Um, then we can, let's see, we have an option down here. We can save the image. And then we can also... Um, reset it. Um, so I'm going to reset the image so we erase it and start from brand new. And now we can go ahead and tap our menu and go settings, extras, and now let's check out the Sudoku game. Tap on start right there. And um, again, you do have some options here simple, easy, medium, hard. Let's, let's try a medium one. I'm pretty good at Sudoku. Tap let's play. And there we go. And let's fill in a couple so we can see how the game plays. Um, let's see. Where, maybe I should have chosen an easier one. I am pretty good though, but let's see. 9-9, nine, nine, so we got a 9 here. Um, how do you fill in the number? Good question. Oh, so that's so weird though. These are all dark, but you would tap this to fill in that number. Okay, so we got 999. Um, let's see, nine, nine, we got nine here, and so that's one, we need a nine for this row right here, there we go, I would say the nine, hmm, okay. I wish I had chose the easy one and I wouldn't have to have sat and thought through so much of it. Let's see if we can get that last nine before we finish up. Oh, here we go. So look, nine, nine. So there's a nine here. And there's one last nine. And it doesn't go here. So that means that. And the nine will go here. And now our nines are completed. Okay? And maybe not. Let's see. Nine, 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 nine. With one last nine, and that nine would. This does not go here. This nine goes here. 
and this line should be erased. I have a little menu. I think this is the menu button right here. But it's not letting us. So you, you guess you can't really erase a number. You have to just put a new one in here. So that one obviously is incorrect. But our last nine would actually go right here. Yeah, this is this is a little weird because you have these dark squares down here, but they don't actually um, show you the numbers. And then, um, yeah, I would have thought that when you finish, it was the number would show up. I think maybe because the wrong numbers in here though. Uh, but anyway, that is Sudoku. And for some reason, this menu button is not working. Oh, there's another option here where you can actually, um, you can put possible numbers in that square. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, oh, and then backspace down here. Duh. Guess I missed that. Anywho, this is Sudoku. Uh, one of the other games that comes stock on the Kobo Mini. And it looks like... Yeah, that's the game right there. I'm not going to finish the whole thing here, but um, you get a couple of games, three games to kind of get you started. Uh, I didn't see an option to download other games, so I think for now you're kind of limited to what comes with it. But uh, maybe in the future they will open it up and uh, allow you to add more games to it. So, anywho, let's go ahead and hit our menu in the bottom right corner. And we're going to tap save and quit. And it will take us back to our home screen. And that is uh, games on the Kobo Mini. Hope you guys found that helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos. And have a good one.